For KRVN Sports, I'm Jason Jorgensen. It continues to be quite the season for first-year UNK center Peyton Neff. The North Platte native has helped the Lopers start the year 22-2. and At this point, the Lopers lead the MIAA standings and they're ranked sixth in the country. And she says so far so good throughout this season. Yes, I'm feeling super good. It's been really fun and just playing with all the girls it's fun no matter what, but now that we're having a pretty good year, it's been really good. It's going really good. Big shoes for you to step in and fill. When this year started, how did you kind of approach this uh, in trying to replace Maddie? Yeah, definitely big shoes to fill. Um, Maddie was a legend at UNK, so obviously I had a lot on my mind coming into it, but just with the support of the rest of the team, I felt really comfortable playing with everybody and of course having Maddie as one of the coaches now um, that's been amazing and it's been so helpful she can answer any question I have she has been exactly where I've been before so it's just been super helpful to have her on the bench and in practice coaching me and helping me along the way that's kind of an unusual setup where do you feel she's helped you out the most for sure probably just running an offense she was amazing at running a good offense, getting the hitters in a good position. Um, So she's really helped me out with kind of that decision-making and figuring out who to get the ball to and how to not have any blockers on our hitters. And she's also really been pushing all of us setters just to kind of work on our defense and blocking too and just our all-around game. In terms of a setter, you – you have a luxury of some great hitters to lead the ball up yeah. for. I'm, I'm sure that's got to help when you have some options there at the net. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's been amazing, all of them. It's really nice when we're in a rotation and I can trust every hitter that I have. It's really fun. It also has got to be a uh, fun and rewarding. When this season started, there there were certainly some question marks, and, and folks didn't know how this was going to go. But for you and the rest of your teammates to have uh, pulled this together and having the type of year you're having, I'm sure that's got to be pretty rewarding. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think uh, we lost a lot of good players last year, so there was definitely some question marks coming into this year. And I'm just really happy with how everybody's kind of stepped up and played all the roles that have been needed to play. And it's been really fun kind of figuring out that process and figuring out who needs to go where. It's been great. Now, over the summer, you had a unique opportunity to go overseas and play over in Croatia. Uh, What was that experience like and what was the biggest thing you took away from that? Oh, yeah, it helped me a ton. It was such a good experience. I can't even express that enough um confidence wise it was just really fun to get out there and just kind of play I didn't know anybody on the team so there you definitely had to build those connections and it was just a really fun experience and it definitely got me more comfortable playing especially with people that I didn't know coming back here and playing with girls that I've been playing with all spring and all last fall it was definitely a really good experience. Now, Peyton, they tell me that both of your folks also came to Kearney to UNK. Was there any chance you weren't going to be a loper? <laughs> Honestly, I had never even thought about those two going to UNK before I was thinking about going to UNK. Um, going into the recruiting process, I was really just open to just about anything. And after everything was said and done, I just loved UNK, and I knew that that was where I wanted to be. And then the fact that those two had came here before I did was just kind of a fun little coincidence. In a league of very good setters, Neff has already been named MIAA Setter of the Week twice. The Lopers will host Central Missouri this Friday night, and we'll bring you that match on 93.1 The River and 106.9 in Kearney. For KRVN Sports, I'm Jason Jorgensen.